structures for your scale. We're going to do long bow first. It will be a long slow bow. And on the cello, a long slow bow is actually harder than a short bow. So you want to make sure that you're holding your bow very steady and straight for the bow stroke. Here we go. Starting on D. cello up into position. Do you have your cello stop? Is your cello stop there? Want to make sure that you are putting your cello exactly into position. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a short bow stroke now. So let's do a Mississippi hot dog bow pattern to practice the short stopped sound. All right, so let's do D major scale with Mississippi hot dog. Ready? This is going to be played in your bow right at the balance point. All right, here we go. And play. Now you're going to practice it one more time, but this time you're going to practice it by yourself. Okay, so you play it all by yourself, D major scale. One, two, ready, go. Do you have your cello stop, William? Go ahead, Noah.
Good job. All right, now let's go next to uh, your pieces for this level. And we're actually going to pluck today. So what I want to do is pluck the twinkle, twinkle little star. So we're just gonna put your thumb right on the fingerboard, slide all the way down to about in the middle right there. And you're gonna pluck with your index finger, right? So your thumb is planted on the fingerboard and you're gonna pluck with the index finger. Now, let's pluck twinkle, twinkle little star. You don't pluck with your thumb, put your thumb on the side, William. You wanna put your thumb on the side of the fingerboard and pluck with your first finger. Ready? And go. Very nice Good job with that plucking. And now we're going to take your bow and play the same song, but with the bow. Now, there's a music word that it is, is called for bow and stringed instruments. All right. Plucking is called pizzicato. Pizzicato. Do you think you can say that word? Pizzicato. That's right. Now, the way it looks, the way it's written in your music is really funny because it looks like pizza. It's P-I-Z-Z -Z, period. So anytime you see a word that looks like pizza, it's short for pizzicato and it means to pluck with your, with your right hand and not use your bow. And then when you go to pick up your bow, it's called Arco, A-R-C-O. So now we're gonna play Arco and we're gonna pick up our bows and play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. practice with your left hand today. I want you to take your left hand and you're going to plop all four fingers down. This is called the catapult. All right. So you take your hand and you reach it out and catapult in. And when you squeeze it on your string, I want you to make sure that your third finger is stretched because that third finger does not like to stretch. It doesn't like to. So you want to make sure that when you squeeze your fingers on the fingerboard, that the third finger is stretched and close to the fingerboard. All right, so let's catapult. Let's catapult three times. Ready? 
and catapult. Make sure your thumb and your second finger are right on top of each other. Good. Line up your thumb and your second finger. Good. Excellent. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it again. Catapult. And go. Excellent. All right, third time. Ready? And catapult. <laughs> nice job. Good job. Excellent. Good. Okay, let's go to the twinkles and I want to practice two twinkles today. Can you please play Twinkle D? Daddy rides a motorcycle, daddy rides a motorcycle. Now, what I want you to practice for this twinkle, uh, first of all, I want you to find the balance point on your bow. And you're going to use very short bow strokes for this. Ready? And balance point. Watch Miss Eliza, very, very, uh, just a little bit here, watch her. And ready, go. It's a very small amount of bow, right at the balance point. Ready, and go. Okay. All right, now we're gonna play Twinkle next. One, two, ready, play. Good, I'll see you all soon. <laughs>